Thank you, Doc. We're back. What can you say about Richie Pryor? He's a... Thanks so much. I would guess that you are a biggest fan of Richie's. As I am. say, he's my top comic. Frankly, yeah. everybody who does comedy uh, think Richie is a genius. Uh, it's Stir Crazy, I guess, is one of the biggest grossing movies uh, in the past couple of years, next to Star Wars or something like that. And he's got another movie coming out called Bustin' Loose, which opens the day after tomorrow all over the country. I think he was out here shooting in Burbank somewhere right. today, wasn't he? Would you welcome Richard Pryor? Hello. Hello. Thank you very much. I sure appreciate that. <laughs> I'm afraid to say, how's it going? George and I were just talking about... I'm great. Yeah. You look, you're looking... <laughs> really great. Yeah. Really great. You're looking good. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not seeing you since uh, last time you were here, you were heading for Hawaii. Yeah, I saw you on the Oscar show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Were you in, in Hawaii when that played? Uh... Yeah, the, no, it showed the same night. Usually everything's a week later. That's right. Why did they... I guess we got to get transported over here, or...? I, I imagine so, Johnny. I guess I would have... <laughs> Could be another reason, could they? Yes. Are you um, are you all finished with the? Uh, you were still going undergoing some therapy for the for the burns and stuff. Are yeah. you pretty much through with that? Pretty now? much uh, through. I just got to go through every morning. I have to get up and set myself on fire <laughs> <laughs> and see how fast I can put it out. <laughs> little test. Yes, you? little test I do every day. So far, so good. Are you? This may sound like a dumb question, but it probably uh, is. But why not? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> can't be can't be brilliant questions all the time, but do you uh, do you ever when, when you're sleeping does this come back sometimes to really no really... I never I never have dreams about it <laughs> <laughs> no but, but some people it would affect traumatically and no I had one dream about fire and it was I was driving in a jeep and with a with a soldier who was sitting in the back and I didn't know who he was and he said just drive I'll get you through it and we drove through this forest fire yeah and uh, stopped by a, a lake, and that's the uh, only thing I had about it. That's the only time that uh, you get thought about it. <laughs> sorry I brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was my yeah. dumb question. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. That was my dumb answer. You, you guys know I was each... in the Jeep. Yes. Yeah. You guys have never worked, you've never been on the show together, I know that. No, we worked together in the village. We uh, started out in... Uh... You know, George used to wear suits. That's right. Uh, well, George has gone through various yeah. uh, career changes and clothing uh, changes. Yes. Right. I, I was Change your clothes, in those George. Days. You were what? Colored in those. You were days. colored in those yes. days. Yes. Huh? <laughs> You've now become black. Yes, and, uh, I was a colored comedian. I was almost colored at that time myself. Yeah. Uh, we worked. You in remember the, Uncle Dirty? Street. Uncle Dirty, sure. Yeah, Uncle Dirty used to be with down us. the village, hanging out, writing down our stuff. Yeah, we started 1965 down there. Yeah, down the Cafe of Go Go. Yeah, we used to idolize Bill Cosby. Yeah. yeah. We used to go see him. He was hot. Yeah. That was something to go see Bill. Yeah. Did you ever, you don't, did you ever even unconsciously pick up on somebody's line and use it? Oh, on purpose. Oh, I mean, you actually. <laughs> well, that's, that's more honest than I thought I was going to get. Oh, in other words, yes. just, just, just I, I, out I and out steal it. Huh? The, uh, Dick Gregory used to have stuff in the Jet magazine, you know? Uh, and I, that's how I started uh, reading his material, and I'd do it on stage. And that was my uh, first breakthrough as that I got a lot of laughs with his material. Yeah. <laughs> and, then I, and then I moved on to Bill Cosby, and I just got a hit with Bill. <laughs> and I know I was good. Don't despise me. And people say, you sound like Bill. I just, the hell you mean? <laughs> This is my voice, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I did that for... I made a lot of money as Bill Cosby. Yeah. <laughs> What's the worst place you ever played? The worst place I yeah. ever played? I was the uh, L.A. County Jail. <laughs> That's a tough audience, right? Over. Yeah. <laughs> held over, huh? Yes, I was held over for 10 days. <laughs> <laughs> Was that, was that when you were parking Flip the cars Wilson. one night, when you were, uh... Parking the cars? Well, no, you were don't mention... Oh, don't mention, don't bring that up, right? You were shooting, directing traffic no, or something. No, I wasn't shooting cars that night. <laughs> this was for taxes. I went to oh. tax, uh, income tax, uh, not paying your money. Well, and, now, that's not fraud. Uh, that's just, you could, that's an oversight, isn't Yes, it? that's what I told you. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'll show you oversight. I mean, he was talking about, you know... I ought to give you six. I said, Your Honor, <laughs> it was an oversight. <laughs> and he gave me 10 days. 
Yeah. It was 10 days. It was 10 hard days because they had me in uh, confinement, you know. They wouldn't let me out with the other prisoners because they were afraid they was going to grab me and kidnap me or have sex with me or something like that. <laughs> so they kept me in this little room, and they let me out. The day they let me out, they let me to the door, and the guy said, no, he can't leave. He has 10 more minutes. No, that was cold. That's I, yeah, that's, that's cruel. I said, you black people are tough. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a short break. We're coming oh, back please, here. Let's... Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Good off. We're back with Richard Pryor and George Carlin. We, uh... We have a little film clip we're going to show in a minute or so of, of Bustin' Loose. You play a thief in this, right? Yes. Did you ever steal anything? Uh, I did. I did uh, as a kid. I mean, that's why I brought it up. Oh, I... yeah, I still. I... Oh, you can steal. <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm not working, I go around the cat building. <laughs> pick, pick me up three or four thousand a week. I stole once, and my father caught me. And um, he almost, uh, my father did not like stealing yeah. or lying. I and think he, hated, he hated either. He could not stand it. And he just had a way about He could look at me, you know. <laughs> you know, and I knew with them, I'd start trembling, you know, and wet my pants. And just, <laughs> uh, he could talk. He was, my pop was tough. Richard, come here. I, I, I said, come, no, right here. <laughs> no, don't, don't try to uh, stand right here. <laughs> what, you and them boys were down there with them hubcaps, weren't you? Uh, I, what? <laughs> you know, so I knew not to lie, because he'd snatch a knot in your butt. That's what <laughs> <laughs> I stole a ring once from a dime store and then it wouldn't admit it to the guy and he started to march me down about two blocks to my father's office uh -oh. and I fessed up real quick because that's... Your father had an office? <laughs> well, he worked... <laughs> it wasn't a big, it wasn't a big lavish office, but yeah, he worked Damn. Out. Yeah? You're... That's cool. A real, real office, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and a desk there and a telephone and... Man, that's him. Isn't that... <laughs> My dad just was out there on the porch. Yeah. <laughs> I stole some coffee once. We was going to go hiking. I stole some coffee and got caught in the store stealing coffee that I didn't need. And God, my ass be bad for that. Yeah. So I don't mind you stealing, but you don't even need coffee. Yeah, that's right.